When you search Wikipedia for the Allen Cup, you find the story of the trophy awarded annually to the National Senior Amateur Men's Ice Hockey Champions of Canada. What you don't find is the story of the Allen Cup as recounted by Peter Hamm. In 1908, a split occurred in the competition of ice hockey in Canada. The top amateur teams left the Eastern Canada Amateur Hockey Association, which allowed professionals to form the new Interprovincial Amateur Hockey Union, a purely amateur league. The trustees of the Stanley Cup decided that the Stanley Cup would be awarded to the professional ice champions, meaning there was no corresponding trophy for the Amateur Championship of Canada. The Allen Cup was donated in early 1909 by Montreal businessman and Montreal Amateur Athletic Association President Sir H. Montague Allen to be presented to the Amateur Champions of Canada. It was to be ruled like the Stanley Cup had, passed by champion to champion by league championship or challenge. Sir Allen gave the Allen Cup to the Victoria Hockey Club of Montreal to give to the 1909 champion of their league, the Interprovincial Amateur Hockey Union. The 1909 Allen Cup was the Canadian National Senior Ice Hockey Championship for the 1908-1909 senior season. The event was hosted by the Ottawa Cliffsides in Ottawa, Ontario. The 1909 playoff marked the first and second time that the Allen Cup was awarded. The Ottawa Cliffsides won the IAHU Championship to win the league title and were awarded the Allen Cup on March 6, 1909. One week later, the first challenge was played with the intercollegiate league champion Queen's University challenging Ottawa to a single game playoff. Queen's won the game and took over the Allen Cup championship. Starting in 1920, the Allen Cup champion team would represent Canada in amateur play at the Olympics and World Championships. This was discontinued in the 1960s with the introduction of the Canadian national team. Since 1984, the Allen Cup has been competed for by teams in the senior AAA category. This episode of Old Time Hockey Adventures in Podcasting is sponsored by BHI Brantford, Ball Hockey International, BHI, home of ball hockey in Brantford. Welcome to the ice, Brantford's own Peter Ham! To start out with, you have to go back to 1908 when the Allen Cup was introduced into scenery hockey because scenery hockey or the amateur brand was the only thing that existed from 1890 to 1908. And during that period, this league played for the Stanley Cup. But in 1907, towards the end of uh, 1907, those teams that were mostly in mining communities, in lumbering communities, where there was lots of money, and they'd bring the guys in, they wanted to take it outright professional, the Stanley Cup. So the OHA was formed to keep an amateur league going, and uh, in 1908, Lord Allen donated the cup for amateur play, and the Stanley Cup went outright professional to whatever they called that league at that time. It wasn't called the National Hockey League, but uh, what morphed into the National Hockey League. So that's when the Allen Cup took off. It's always been a challenge cup. In other words, it's not just one league versus another league or one division versus another division. It's every province in Canada can have an organization and challenge for the Allen Cup and go through a, a series of playdowns, as evidenced by the Kenora Thistles over the past several years. And the, and the Thunder Bay, um, they've changed their name quite a bit, but uh, the big team from Thunder Bay was Thunder Bay Twins, but it uh, morphed into Thunder Bay Thundercats. They've had a, a myriad names, but they also challenged for the Cup. In the past few years, it's been uh, strictly the Kenora Thistles who incidentally won the Stanley Cup back in the 20s. That's how some of those little towns existed, by uh, loading up with the best players in the country. The following promotional break is brought to you by Wikipedia. 
Welcome to Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia that anyone can edit. Lieutenant Colonel Sir Hugh Andrew Montague Allen, CVO of Ravenscrab in Montreal's Golden Square Mile, died on September 26, 1951. He was born on October 13, 1860, and was the principal heir of his father, Sir Hugh Allen and became deputy chairman of the family-owned Allen Steamship Line. He was president of several major Canadian financial institutions and the Montreal General Hospital. He co-founded and was president of the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Montreal. In 1942, he and his wife donated their home, Ravenscrab, to the McGill University Faculty of Medicine when it became known as the Allen Memorial Institute. He is best remembered as the sportsman who donated the Allen Cup, the trophy that is still awarded today to the Canadian men's amateur ice hockey champions, the Allen Memorial Cup. When the Stanley Cup was restricted to competition between professional ice hockey clubs, amateur teams no longer had a championship to which they could aspire Allen was a well-known ice hockey enthusiast, and in 1908, he donated the Allen Cup, a trophy that would represent the highest level of achievement for amateur hockey teams across Canada. The cup is awarded annually to the National Senior Amateur Men's Ice Hockey Champions of Canada and is still competed for to this day. Like the Stanley Cup, the Allen Cup was originally a challenge trophy, meaning teams could issue challenges to the reigning champion, hoping to defeat them and earn the status of champion for themselves. But when challenges for the Allen Cup grew so frequent that they became unmanageable, the format was altered in 1914 so that regional champions would compete for this prestigious national trophy. Beginning in 1920, when hockey was first introduced to the Olympic Games, the reigning Allen Cup champion was chosen to represent Canada. This continued until Father David Bauer introduced a national hockey program that produced a team of selects at the Innsbruck 1964 Winter Olympics. For his contribution to the sport of ice hockey, in 1945, Allen was made a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame in the Builders category. His cousin Brenda Allen, Lady Meredith, donated the Lady Meredith Cup in 1920, which was the first ice hockey trophy to be competed for amongst women in Canada. We now return you to Old Time Hockey, Adventures in Podcasting. It's just evolved from a Challenge Cup where they would have, uh, you know, White Horse come down to play the Montreal Maroons in the 20s up into a home-and-home series. There would be a series of playdowns in the west and a series of playdowns in the east, the east being Ontario towards uh, Newfoundland and the west Manitoba out to British Columbia. And they would play off to finally get a western Canadian champion and an eastern Canadian championship. So you had to win. It was called the Bolton Cup. You had to win everything up to the Bolton Cup in the east to qualify to host or visit the host team from the west. And in the West, they played for the Herder Cup. It was quite a thing because uh, you had to go and play all seven games in their building, whatever the series was that year, whether it was five games or seven games. It was very interesting and very enjoyable. At the time, Hockey Canada picked up the tab for the visiting team. We played the Kimberly Dynamiters. They're a legendary hockey team along with Trail Smoke Eaters and teams of that ilk. And you would fly out to, uh, to stay in Kimberley, which was a mining town, and uh, play all the games there. It was a beautiful kind of exchange. I'm, I'm, yeah, even a cultural exchange between the provinces. And uh, the guys, when they were on the ice, they tried to kill each other. But off the ice, you know, you were, you were welcome. And, and the hospitality was great. So it was very, very unique. That determination as an Allen Cup winner changed in the 80s because Senior A went through an evolution of the OHA League kind of collapsed in late 70s because of arenas. They had a terrible winter in, I think, 79, 78, 79, and it damaged a lot of the local arenas like Cambridge, Aurelia, Barrie. They were all old buildings, 
wood roofs, you know, the wood beam roofs, and they, they had to cease operation. So the senior A-League, as, as it was known for, you know, 80 years, uh, became uh, 75 or 80 years, uh, became something different. Like a, an intermediate A team could, was now a senior A team, if you know what I mean. The, the standard of play, the integrity of play, was diminished by this league not existing. The league that took over it was kind of an intermediate league. It, it's evolved into what exists today now. It took off and attracted different cities, and that's what exists now. And the format for uh, determining an Allen Cup championship turned to a round-robin style, and that's what exists today too, where six teams from coast to coast hook up in a town that's predetermined uh, three years ahead and battle it out to see who's the champion. So it's the only challenge cup in existence. There are three cups that are highly recognized, and when you talk about the Hockey Hall of Fame, have, have been featured for, in essence, from 75 to 100 years, like the Allen Cup is, I think, 108 years old this year. This is the 108th uh, anniversary of competition. So there's the Allen Cup. Obviously, everybody knows about the Mor Memorial Cup and Stanley Cup. And those are the three, the big three, that rule the Canadian hockey world, at least, for close to a century.